My name is Mary Jane, Mary Jane Dope. Um, I'm a tattoo artist in Port St. Lucie, um, a creative artist. Uh, anything that has to do with creating is something that I'm involved in, so yeah. Um, my girlfriend got a tattoo and I got a tattoo at this warehouse and then he gave me an opportunity and I ran with it and I've been tattooing ever since. <laughs> Everything, like something that I walk, I breathe, I live, something that I can't live without. Creativity is five senses, six senses, you know, all the senses, any senses um, is my heartbeat. It's everything. I mean, when I was younger, because I grew up in a household where all oh, my brothers and sisters are different shades of color. Um, but growing up in the suburbs, it's like I had a, a best friend that was Irish and when I went to elementary school, it was like, I was like the only black girl, in, you know, in school. And so like growing up, I always felt like my skin had to be either lighter and I used to ask my mom for like lightening soap to lighten in my skin. Um, very touchy things. I guess I didn't look at it like that and my mom used to be like, you need to love your skin color. My dad too. Love your skin color, yo, you know. And it wasn't until I got older, where I went to an HBCU, and I kind of understood what being a black female in this world meant. Um, I moved to Atlanta, and I realized that our skin color is actually something more powerful than what meets the eyes. Um, you know, melanin and, you know, being a black woman in this world. I, I guess they say I have three X's against me because, one, I'm black, and I'm a girl, and I'm a lesbian on top of that, so it's like something you know, as far as your skin color, it can't take you that far, but I think it's more than meets the eyes, again, with colors. <laughs> I seen some of the photos and I was like, whoa, this is interesting. And then we had a conversation about it. Then went on Instagram and I saw it and I was like, whoa, okay, that's what it's about. It's not just about just the pictures or the lighting. It was more about girls explaining like, you know, what it meant to be black or brown or their experiences through, you know, life. And I kind of appreciate that because I never got to tell my side of the story, you know. I guess it depends on what part of the society you're actually looking at because I feel like um, if you're going to like a more or corporate viewing, I don't know, function even, um, it can make me feel uncomfortable, like I don't belong here. But say if I go to an urban setting where I see more people that look like me, you know, that dress like me, then I'm gonna feel more comfortable in my skin. You need to embrace yourself. Um, it's okay to have insecurities, we all have them, we all have flaws, but I think that's what makes a woman. If you have a child and you have stretch marks, embrace it. Like, we're in a society now, again, where people are feminists and people embrace other people. You just gotta be comfortable and just stay dope. <laughs> That's about it, like, just be you.